What's up guys, Justin Giovanni here and welcome to Devil's Backbone. Oh, oh yeah, just insert the creepy scary music here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the reason why it's called uh, Devil's Backbone is because it looks like the spine uh, emerging out from the earth below. So we are here during sunset. Well, actually, we have like a couple hours until sunset. The main area that we're going to right now is called the Keyhole. So it's about um, a mile just to get to that location. And you're gaining about 300 or so feet in elevation uh, from the parking lot. So not too bad of a hike. Let me show you guys around before we get there. Let's go! <laughs> Walking by, kind of collecting B-roll, this gentleman, I don't know if you can see him, but uh, this gentleman uh, was passing by, he's coming down for, from his hike, and uh, he told me that there was a sighting of rattlesnake. Yes, that is why I wore long pants today with long socks, with the boots of course. Um, because I've heard that there's reports of rattlesnakes on this trail. Uh, he did say that the rattlesnake was on this side down here. So, we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed that I don't cross paths with that reptile. Don't want anything to do with it. Uh, <laughs> I definitely got bit. Uh, before I moved to Colorado from I think it was a brown rat snake but when I got bit I didn't realize that it wasn't poisonous so I got lightheaded uh, just because the adrenaline was pumping and I didn't know what the hell it was drove myself to the hospital and turned out to be a non-venomous bite uh, one indication that I didn't realize at the time, but the nurses and whatnot saying that it was multiple punctures, meaning like three to four or more than that. That's a good indication that it wasn't poisonous. If it was poisonous, you'll get two punctures. But I do have my little, uh, <laughs> my little uh, Garmin a uh, GPS locator that has SOS, so it'll send to emergency service my exact coordinates if anything happens. But um, I think what I'm going to do for the time being, I'm going to kind of beeline it to our location. Because as you can tell, that it's, it's not overcast, but there is a dark cloud off in the distance. So... We're gonna try to, we're gonna try to, you know, kind of rush it, but uh, let's go. <laughs> so I've never been to this location before. Um, I did manage to come here like an hour ago and kind of scout out a little bit wasn't much but what I did come across was I think like one or two photographs 
Ooh, look at that light coming through. I'll turn you guys around. Once you get into the area where the keyhole is, there's not much room to like step back and take that picture. But I think, I think we'll get a pretty good image. Yeah, whoo. There's some dark looking clouds back here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it could be rain, it could, you know, we'll never know. But I live for it. I love it. It's my passion. So I mean, <laughs> Um, I guess the only kind of like shelter would be that spot if it did rain, but oh well, it'll be worth it. So with that being said, with the dark clouds and everything, I don't know if we're going to get the golden hour color, which is okay in my book, because if that's the case, we'll do a, we'll do a black and white. So we made it. We're here at the keyhole here at Devil's Backbone. <laughs> Cheesy laugh, I know. So a good landmark uh, to find this location are these guys. So when you're looking at the rock wall, you're gonna see these like little, little dimples alongside the, the whole wall. And like the reason why I found the location uh, because there was nobody here was because of these little dimples they caught my attention and I just kind of followed the path and then boom like it's it's right there so this is probably gonna get a little tricky um, and the reason being is because there are people up here at the location which might be a little bit difficult uh, for you to kind of focus on what I'm saying because everyone else is pretty much talking so um, what I'll do, I'll try to get some B-roll of me getting the shot and then um, um, I'll do the camera settings so you guys can see um, what I'm working with. But uh, let me show you guys this awesome place. Let's go! <laughs> So this place is a little tricky um, with the placement of the sun and the direction that I'm photographing. As you can see with the shadow of my camera is actually, whoops, it's actually right here. So you kind of kind of get an idea of how tricky this spot is just because I don't want my own shadow in the composition because that will just ruin it. Like we clearly see that like, oh, I'm there. But I think what I'm going to do. I'm gonna get a couple more shots while I still have this available light. And uh, I'm definitely gonna move around quite a bit and I gotta see like what I could come up with while I still have some good lighting. So I'll also do uh, black and white. Um, when I went to Carter Lake, I actually did a black and white of that location and I actually enjoyed it. I'll put the tab right here. <laughs> somewhere right there yeah <laughs> um, that way you guys can check out that video and see that black and white photograph so I'll also do a black and white photograph here at this location So these rocks are in the foreground 
and I got the arch kind of going right above it and it's it's pretty pretty much just kind of like breaking up the sky so you get your sky on your left sky on your right and it's just kind of like a divider with a little bit of foreground oh uh, oh that's pretty I'm not worried about that golden hour is already over um on this arch right here but I still have color in the sky and the clouds itself so you know what I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that so I'm gonna take some more oh. how low can you go <laughs> damn it's so nice though gonna be doing um, I gotta put everything away just because since it is uh, sunset this park closes at sunset so I gotta pack everything and then just kind of like beeline it back to the entrance so let's go <laughs> all right actually I'm gonna get one more shot I gotta do this quick uh, luckily, I already have a uh, battery in camera and I'm using my 24 to 70 millimeter lens and I'm just gonna get one shot um, and all it is is gonna be uh, this rock formation. Okay, I got it. Oh man, it's pretty. Just kind of in a rush. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I do need this. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Crikey. Run away. Run away. But well, I will tell you this. So, leaving right now. I've got such a pretty view with the mountains to my right and the sunset or not the sunset it's the rest of the sunset displayed on the clouds I'll show you So I hope you guys have fun here at Devil's Backbone. Uh, this place is awesome. <laughs> That's it for the time being. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know to do hit that like button. Yes! <laughs> and if you want to see more of the videos that I produce, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. Yes! <laughs> so you guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.